Today, on Be Something Wonderful, your wish fulfilled is already a reality now or not at all. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back and good morning here. Sunday morning here in Las Vegas in our studios. I want to remind you that one week from now at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time, we're going to be coming to you live in our seventh live event right here from the studios here in Las Vegas. I'm going to be answering your questions that you've been sending to me at info at besomethingwonderful.com. Keep in mind that this live event, this live stream will be broadcast exclusively on our membership channel. If you're a member, thank you for joining and tune in. If you're not a member, check it out and tune in anyway. Okay, guys, I want to talk about a couple comments that were on the channel from a subscriber and one was a, even a client had a comment on this, asking about the idea of imagining your wish already fulfilled as something that will physically happen, this is their question, in the future versus imagining your wish already fulfilled happening right now. I, I wanna hit this idea because they're trying to make a distinction between what's actually happening, what's real and what's unreal. This whole idea that I've talked about many times. I wanna start with this subscriber comment. Tom says that we shouldn't imagine that it will happen in the future because then it will continually be delayed. Not really what I said, and I'm gonna to get to this in a minute, I'm gonna really unpack this. What, that's not really what I'm saying. I'm not saying that what you, I never really say what you should or shouldn't do or can or cannot do. It's never about that. What I'm saying is you can't imagine anything in the future. You just can't because whatever you imagine, whatever you desire, whatever you assume is always right now. There is no future to imagine it in. That's the greater point that I was getting at, that you can only create that experience where it unfolds in some imaginary future. So you keep it forever out of reach by imagining that it's going to happen in the future and that in the future is never now when, when you believe in a future, right? There's only now. The future is now. But when you say it's going to unfold in the future, you believe it's not going to unfold now. It's going to unfold at some time in the future. So you keep it forever out of reach. Do you get this? So I'm, I'm saying you can't imagine anything in the future because there is no future. You are only in... All, you only and always are thinking, assuming, and imagining it right now. It either exists, fulfilled, that wish is already fulfilled right now in the only reality, or it's not fulfilled or exists at all. That's what we're talking about. You are imagining it now, assuming that you won't see or perceive it until sometime in the future never comes. So when you're saying that I'm going to imagine my wish fulfilled, but but it feels delusional to imagining that it's happening now. And so I'm going to imagine it as some event that's going to unfold in the future. You're imagining it now, then you're assuming that, it won't, that you won't see it or perceive it until some event, some time in the future that never comes. That's why it hasn't come yet. You keep it forever in the future by imagining it that it's in the future. It's right now. Yes, there's a physical unfolding, but that's happening right now. So I want to get to this more than ever. So that these questions, here's one of the questions from an, another subscriber. Imagine your wish already fulfilled, even though it is something that will physically occur in the future, like an event, versus imagining that it's, all, that it's actually happening right now. When you use the word actually, like it's not actually happening. It's, it's, it, you're, you're trying to make a distinction from the real, what you believe is the real 3D world where it really happens versus the unreal world where it doesn't really happen. It only happens in your imagination. Do you see it? That's what, and this other subscriber said, is it okay to imagine your wish already fulfilled even though physically in 3D you know it will occur later in the near future? Versus actually, also using the world actually, act, versus actually living in the end now, as if it's already happening right now. And that, and, and that might make you feel frustrated and delusional. Well, no, if it makes you feel frustrated and delusional, 
then you're, belie you're, you're believing that the 3D solidity, the 3D reality, the physical reality is the only real reality and that it's delusional to imagine anything else. That's what you're really saying. Actually, living in the end is living in the end, period. We're going to go over this today, right? It's not about the past, present, and future. The now moment is your awareness of being. Whatever you are aware of right now is now is the only reality. So if you're aware of something that's going to happen in the future, then you're creating a reality where it's not happening now, where it can't unfold now, where you can't perceive it now, and there's only now. So when is that future? It's always out of reach. It's always... In, in the next moment, which never comes because there's only now. Do you get it? You can only desire, imagine, assume, and be aware of an experience of reality right now. There's nothing happening out there. That all of this assumes that there's something actually happening, using the word actually, out there. And there's nothing happening out there. It's all happening within you. It's all a projection, a, a reflection of what's happening within you. So the question is not what's, what's going to unfold out there. What's unfolding within you? Are you believing that it's something in the future that will be delayed? Because that creates that. It creates a future that never comes. Do you see it? We're going to hit this some more. Remember, this is what it looks like. This is infinity, right? This is God. This is all that is. This is that pure awareness right? That, that has no borders. And there you are, all potential, all experiences, right? And then there's the mental realm or the imaginal experience with thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions, right? And then there's the physical, the 0.0001%, the physical 3D manifested experience. It's all real. It's all a real experience within your awareness right now. All that's happening right now. So when you imagine it, when you imagine it that's unfolding, when you imagine it that it's happening right now, then it is happening right now. Just because you can't perceive it with your 3D physical senses doesn't mean you, it, it's not there. It doesn't mean that it's not real. Do you see it? Just because you can't physically touch it or see it does not mean anything. It is real. You're, you're here, right? Saying, oh, this is the real experience. When is it going to really happen? It's happening and it's all happening now, right? This is why I love this drawing, the concentric circles, right? The, 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 those thoughts and feelings, you create the thoughts or feelings, you create the image or the assumptions that, it, that somehow it happens or it unfolds physically in the future. And so you create that experience right now, a future that doesn't come because it's the future, right? So I want to hit this. Remember, it's all real. It's all a real experience within your awareness of being right now. Take a good shot of that. So remember, to your awareness of being or consciousness, nothing is neither. I like to use this. Nothing is either or nothing is neither, double negative, fantasy or fact, unreal or real, delusional or factual, non-physical or physical, unseen or seen, happening in the future or happening now, mental or physical. It's all you. It's all now. Your awareness of being doesn't make those distinctions, right? And when you do, you keep yourself apart from what you already are, from that wish that's already fulfilled. It's all reality. It's all you. It's all that is, and it's all right now right? It's everything everywhere all at once. It's pure potential. So everything is a mental or imaginal experience, both physical and non-physical within your awareness. It's all mental. It's all, it, all of it is experiencing now. All of those are ex real experiences of reality, whether it's a mental or an imaginal experience or a physical experience. It's all reality. It, there's no difference. Right? It's a difference of vibration, a difference of frequency, a difference of correspondence, right? a difference of resonance, what you're resonating with, what you can see and perceive. But it's all happening right now, and it's all you right now. And whether you actually see it and feel it and, and touch it is, a different, is, a, is only a difference in vibration and frequency and resonance with that reality, your correspondence with it.
But if you believe it's happening in the future, then you're not corresponding or resonating or vibrating with it now. You're vibrating with something that might happen in the future. It's un you're saying it's unseen to you. You can't see it. You see this. So all of that is right now. So how do I know what's real and what's not? What's fact and what's fiction? What's now and what's in the future? Remember, it's all real. But, so how do you know by your intentions, by your assumptions, by your beliefs? You determine, you create, you perceive and receive your experience of reality, all of it. So, so what's real and what's not is only your decision because it's all an experience of reality, right? What's fact and what's fiction is your belief, your assumptions, because it's all a real experience of reality, right? And what's now and what's in the future is, is your assumptions, your beliefs, because it's all right now and it's all a real experience of reality. And that experience has different vibrations, different frequencies, different forms, different natures, but it's all, all that is happening right now. Your awareness or consciousness consolidates around whatever you're intending, assuming, and believing right now. So it's by your attention, intentions, by your assumptions, by your beliefs that you determine it. But it's your experience. What's real or, or not to you or what's fact or fiction to you, what's now or in the future to you, is all up to you. But all of it's reality, all of it's ultimate reality, all of it's God, all of it's imagination, all of it's all that is. And you get to determine what your mental and physical experience of that one reality is. Right, whether you see it or don't see it, right? So your awareness or consciousness consolidates around whatever you're intending, assuming, and believing right now. Or in other words, who and what are you conscious of being? That's the real question. Do you see both of those questions from these subscribers was, was almost referring to a reality out there, outside of them. That, oh, it's something that will occur in the future out there. It will something that, that actually happens out there. It doesn't actually happen out there at all. It actually happens within you and who and what you're conscious of being. So if you're conscious of being someone that, that a reality happens in the future and out, it happens out there, that will be your experience. That will be your experience that it never comes. Right? Because it all, remember, you create reality from within and then you see it without. It's who and what you're conscious of being. So the, the only question is, are you conscious or aware of being that identity and version of you for whom and through whom that desired reality, that imagined end, that imagined outcome is already fulfilled and real right now regardless of when you will physically perceive it in 3D? That's the only question that you need to ask. It's not about what you believe is going to happen out there. It's what you, what's happening within you right now. Are you that reality? Are you that identity? Are you that version? For whom and through whom your desired reality, your imagined outcome, your wish already fulfilled is real and fulfilled to you regardless of, what, of when you'll physically perceive or experience that in the, in quote, the 3D world right? That's what really living in the end really means. That's what we mean by living in the end, right? Or are you the identity that assumes it's delusional and you're waiting for it in the imaginal future? Who are you? Like Jesus asked, who do you say I am? Because that's going to determine your experience. It determines your entire life experience right now. Where it doesn't, so, it, so are you that identity that assumes it's delusional and you're waiting for it in the imaginal future? Where it doesn't exist and it never comes or manifests or is perceived by you. It can't be perceived or, or manifested or exist in the future. It has to be now. So it doesn't exist there. So what are you waiting for? You, there's nothing to wait for because it's not there. It's right now. Do you see it? <laughs> oh. Both your inner mental and imaginary experience and your outer, your physical manifest experience, are real experiences of reality right now. We're not saying that the physical's not real. We're not saying the mental's not real. We're saying they're all real experiences of reality, 
right? Remember, it's not the way, it's not as it appears. That's what 3D, that's what the illusion of 3D reality means. It's not as it appears. There's a greater reality behind it. What's more, your outer physical experience is a reflection or a projection of your mental or imaginary experience. Or in other words, what you are predominantly imagining, assuming, thinking, and believing right now. So what is it? Are you believing that it's something that happens in the future? That becomes your state of being. That becomes what you're thinking, feeling, and assuming about your reality. That it's not here and now, that it happens in the future. That never comes, right? And the only reason you don't see and perceive it is because you judge, hear this, you judge the physical 3D experiences and appearances more real and more valid and more important to you because of their perceived solidity. Do you see, you, you see that as more important, more real, more valid, more truthful than what you're imagining within. That's the only reason you don't see it and perceive it right now. Do you see it? That's the only reason you don't see and perceive it is because you judge the 3D physical experiences and appearances more real, more valid, and more important to you because of their perceived solidity and continuity. That's powerful. So remember, imagination or imagining is not something you do to experience or manifest something in what you believe is the real world or reality. It is, it is reality and it, 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 or, 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 it is reality or a real experience of reality. Imagination is the only reality. It's the real experience of reality. It's the only experience, right? Remember, even this physical experience, you're imagining right now. You're projecting that. So it's all imagination. It's all a projection from within the, your mind, which is a center, a conscious center of the divine mind, of source, the one and only source. So you imagine, imagine, it's not something you do to experience and manifest something that you believe will, you'll actually physically experience in 3D reality, in, the, in what you believe is a real world, the solid world. It is reality. It's the real experience of reality. You don't see the world of 3D reality as it is or, a, a, or as the way things are. You are seeing, perceiving, and experiencing the world as you are, all of it, as you are within. It's the only reality. What you imagine, what you desire, what you assume exists right here and now or not at all. It has to exist right here and now or not at all. It's not something that unfolds in the future. If you assume and believe it's something that happens in the future, you created that experience of it just being out of reach in an illusionary future. That's what I meant. That's the, the real, that, it's all about perception. That's what I was getting at with that, right? And, but, but, but because you believe the real experience is the physical experience, the real world is the 3D world, right? That, that, that you place that importance on it. And then, and then you say, well, it's going to happen in the future. And you create that experience. That's what we're talking about. Your wish fulfilled is already fulfilled now or right now, the only reality right now or not at all. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. Uh, for being part of our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, and for joining us on TikTok at Be Something Wonderful. We just downloaded another video today. There will also be a, a short uploaded, um, also put on uh, YouTube. With these, with these TikTok videos. So a lot more is coming. Don't forget, a week from now, we're going to come to you live right here from the studios of Las Vegas. Be something wonderful. We're going to be answering your questions that you've been sending me at info at besomethingwonderful.com. That's coming a week from now, our, our seventh live stream to be broadcast exclusively on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. Look for it, guys, in a week. With great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom with the Be Something Wonderful Studios in Las Vegas. Until next time, see you soon.